Time on the round, Carol. <laughs> Sam, did you lose? <laughs> oh, f hell. <laughs> no excuses. Yeah, so you just you just hard make dragoon <laughs> because you go <laughs> in field you spell. Just summon dark magician <laughs> with the, uh, the field. Well, don't let him twist it then. Listen, mate, that's not my problem. You're the one who just lost. <laughs> This sounds a, a no. This sounds like excuses. This is typical Guna behaviour. This is what they do yeah. when Arsenal lose. This is how they behave as well. No, what are you supposed to do? So we're here at the station. Uh, as you can hear, it's very, very loud with a fucking train coming in. Um, we're here waiting for the train about five minutes to go. Uh, it's a typical super rainy day in England. Probably going to be quite windy later on as well. Uh, once we get to Northampton, we're going to hang about for a few minutes and then we're going to get picked up by Big P himself and then Pipster uh, and then head on our way to locals. That's us. and uh, just as expected it's still fucking raining no surprise there I'm just waiting for Big P.U.'s message to say he's not too far away so uh, we should see him soon yeah but I can tell it was Sam can I just see a football shirt you can tell it's Sam because he looks like a fucking gooner <laughs> they just have a look about them they're sort of like dragging their knuckles along the floor or something like that mm. webbed toes and things like that fucking Arsenal fans for you but there you go so we've arrived in a Pibmobile, does as well. I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to look for new cars next week. New cars? New cars. What are you going to do? Henman's going to have to bed that one in as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. So yeah, just uh, just arrived at Locals in the glorious rain. So now we've got the nice fun bit of walk around the entire fucking building to get in. One way systems because of uh, the unnamed thing that is ruining everyone's lives and I don't want to get demonetized. So round one down, uh, we play against Dragon Link. Looking a bit weird here. Is that clearer? Don't really know. Uh, yeah, we play against Dragon Link. Uh, I don't think he gets to see 
particularly the best boards uh, game one he doesn't really see much my hands is trash as well but then i draw on a deer for turns so that's fine uh, game two he doesn't open amazingly he's got some set up uh unfortunately for me i've drawn into super poly so I clear up most of his board I end up with starving venom uh and nibiru because i've seen nibiru as well although he plays through the entire bit so it doesn't really matter um and then i managed to just push for enough damage i break up all of his resources he has to commit his entire hand to get his plays going uh and then uh the the next turn he draws Droll. Uh, so he sat on Droll with an Appaloosa with one negate uh, and then boots sack the launch, which doesn't really get him anywhere. So a nice win. So we're going into round two, one up. Right, pack winning, finished 2 1. Let's see what we get. Probably garbage. Okay, so apologies about the noise in the background. We're in a car, so cars make noises. Um, we finished 2 1 in the end. Uh, I managed to beat Dragonlink and Infernoble, uh, taking Capoli out along the way, which was nice. Um, and then I go ahead and lose to Heroes, round three, uh, which happens to be fair. Uh, it was one of them. I, I didn't open particularly well any of the games. Uh, maybe game two a little bit was okay, and I managed to win that one, but game three, he just blew me out. I couldn't play through it. He ended on Plasma. I I knew it was like a skill drain, uh, but I forgot that it was like, I like forgot that when I committed to my board, uh, and I summoned Alistair, and he's like, yeah, it's negating. I'm like, oh, fuck me. If I read cards, that might help. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I really lost to the miss because I was going to lose anyway. I'm pretty sure based off what I had, but it would have been nice to get it right from the get-go. So, uh, we finish Locals round one. Uh, lo locals round one? Locals, locals one? Something like that. Uh, we finish that 2-1. Not too bad. Taking out the two best decks on the table. Uh, and now we're going to go get some food. Okay, so round two is down. Uh, we played against Sam uh, and we lost. It was a mirror match. He plays a going second variant. Uh, I tried to stick to my guns and force going first. Um, didn't really, game one was kind of a bit of back and forth because neither of us were seeing anything, uh, but neither of us were allowing much to go through. Uh, and I think it eventually just got to the point where he managed to get enough on board to push for game and I couldn't do anything. Uh, and then, in fact, I think in both of them it ended because Dragoon. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get away to stop it. Uh, and then game two, I just didn't see anything really. It was all just hand traps. There was no other real way to play. Uh, I saw terraforming, which then allowed me to try and play, but by that stage, there was too much going on. So, uh, unfortunately, lost there. That was the second round. The first round, which obviously I didn't cover just yet, uh, I played against Marincess uh, and managed to win in time. I was four. He was on 4K life. Um, I was on 8,000, and uh, there, there was. I don't think he could have really built up to much from there. He'd sort of lost any possible advantage that he could have got so um yeah it was pretty nutty i mean i, I went for nibiru blew out all his monsters and then feather dusted all his back row so i uh, got the token in attack mode because he had a really low attack hit over it in nibiru and then by then he had like no cards he was just top decking um and then drawing like one card at a time and hoping for the best so yeah uh mixed bag uh round one wasn't great in terms of how things went but it was enough to get the win round two not so much so let's see how round three gets on right locals two over let's see what we get these are normally a neg but we can hope and we can pray yeah enough 
I mean, this is basically do I open Ghost Rock? Yes. I don't know. It's nothing for me. <laughs> No bueno. That's the face of a man who knows he's about to lose to Marantes. As if it wasn't embarrassing enough that he's wearing an Arsenal jacket. He's about to lose in time, obviously, to Caleb, because Caleb only ever wins in time. He beats me, but he can't beat Marantes. Forlorn, that's the word we're looking for. Forlorn. Just get that zoom going. Just look in his eyes. That's a man who's about to lose to trap dot deck. Not the good, not the good kind of traps either. Just straight loss. Which one's the good type of trap? No comment. <laughs> There is no battle phase here, boy. I'll take a vow, my consonant. That spell spells time on the round. Imagine if he just went. What's that firecracker, dude? Oh, it's five seconds. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's when I catch the moment the heart gets broken. Yu Gi Oh! It's time on the round, Carol. <laughs> Sam, did you lose? Oh, fucking hell. No excuses. Yeah, so you just, you just hard make Dragoon. Because you go fucking field spell. You summon Dark Magician with the, the field. Well, don't let him twi twist Dark through it then. Okay. Listen, mate, that's not my problem. You're the one who just lost. Can you imagine if you did a twin that and it made the goon? This sounds, no, this sounds like excuses. This is typical gooner behaviour. This is what they do. When Arsenal lose, this is how they behave as well. No, what are you supposed to do? Classic Kalen wins in time, though. Mine. That's a KLM Oh, special. okay. Now it's Sam's fault, that is it? He <laughs> <laughs> won that one. Can't even complain. I had to draw the last Dino Michigans. That was the only out left in my deck. Disgusting from both of you, really. Sam, poor performance. Kalem, up to his usual tricks again. I'm not assigned it out. Obviously. There's only one way to settle this, lads. One of you is going to have to die. You're going to have to have 50 cups in the park. It's not. the only way. <laughs> I'm not a betting man, but Jam Jam is, so I'll get him to put some wages, wages on. Kane will just wait until Sam's really tired. It's like time, really. <laughs> and then just move in for the swift kick in the nuts. Oh. Trust Kalen's used some underhanded tactics. <laughs> That's not like Kalen. We're two games today, we're going to time by time. Man. 
Well, don't mine him then. Hang on a minute. You mind me early on. Oh, it's like the Spider Man meme. Hang on a Spider Man meme. Actually, you're looking kind of sus right now, Caitlin. <laughs> So that's us done for the day. Uh, we're just on the train now, waiting to go. Loads of them have been cancelled, so uh, quite lucky that any are running at the moment. There's a storm coming. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and shitty weather outside, and hopefully you can hear me okay because it's quite loud on here. Um, we finished on 4-2 for the entire day, so 2-1 on each event. Uh, we won against the hero play that we lost to in round one. Um, just that was fine. Uh, I beat Marinces. Uh, which you'll have seen the guy playing towards the end against one of the other guys uh, but I lost to Sam who was playing against him in the going second variant of uh, the Lingua deck so yeah finished 4-2 overall not too bad the ones that I lost were generally speaking because of like a brick in rather than misplaced that's fine um, I don't know whether that's better or worse but even still 4-2 is not too bad for the day unfortunately we pulled absolute jank as you've seen in the clips but uh, not a bad, not a bad day out. Definitely can't complain uh, and all that. Now we've just got this crappy weather to look forward to. So I guess I'll go home, probably record the market watch, maybe do a deck profile, uh, just to do like an in-depth discussion on the deck and what I think I might change going forward, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, I guess see how we get on. Time for the ride home. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.